everyone. In today's lesson in Excel, we are going to work a bit more with the spreadsheet as a whole, in that we're going to insert sheets, delete sheets, recolor them, etc. So let's start with renaming a sheet. It's a good idea to name your sheets something logical so that you actually know what they're about when you open your workbook. So the sheets are named by default as sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, etc. So I'm going to rename sheet one January sales. So to do that, you take your mouse pointer, you right click on sheet one at the bottom of your sheet, um, a pop-up menu will appear and you choose rename. And then it'll allow you to rename the sheet. And you press enter. And you can see that our sheet has been renamed Jan Sales. Now, you can also change the color of the sheets. The sheets are by default white or gray. So I'm going to recolor Jan Sales in red. So I'm going to right click on Jan Sales. I'm going to choose tab color from the pop-up menu and I'm going to choose red. So if I click on sheet two, you can see that Jan Sales has now turned red. If you need more than one sheet, it's quite easy to insert a new sheet. Um, Excel automatically at the last sheet will put a little button in that says insert worksheet. So all you need to do is click on that and a new sheet will be inserted. Um, and you can do that as many times as you like. It'll just keep inserting new sheets for you. Now, once you've done your sheet, we might need to insert headers and footers or dates and times in the header and the footers. And it's exactly the same as Word. We are going to use insert, the insert tab, and then I'm going to go to the text group. And in the text group, I'm going to choose header and footer. Now, in Excel, the header automatically defaults in the center of the page. Um, if you don't want your header in the center of the page, you can just use your mouse to go and click on the left-hand side of the page, or you can use your scroll bar to scroll to the right to click on the right hand side of the page if that's where you want your header. Now you can type in text in a header or you can choose the header and footer elements to put in page numbers or the date or the time or the file path or the sheet name. So for today I will put, I will just put a text header in And then on the left hand side, I'm going to put in the current date. So if you click on current date, it puts a little function in for you that says and date. And every time you now open this workbook, the date will be updated to the correct date. So once you are done with your header, all you need to do is double click inside your sheet and the header will close and I will show you. There's the date. It's the 12th of March. And there's the text we put in. Excel lesson on headers and footers. Okay, we've inserted a header into our workbook. We're now going to insert a footer. But remember, grade tens, that a header always appears at the top of your document and a footer always appears at the bottom of your document. So to insert a footer, we just scroll down and we click in the footer area. And then again in the header and footer elements, we have a choice of what we want to type in into our footer. Um, in this case, I am going to choose page number. And it comes up with a little formula that says and page. And on the left hand side, I am going to put in the file name. And it says and file. So I've inserted my header and footer. And if I scroll to the bottom, you will see it says example of cell references as my footer, file name, and page one, because we only have one page in our document. And that brings us to the end of this Excel lesson. Until I see you next time.